guys, my name is Abigail Breslin and today we are going to be creating the adorable Forky. We're turning him into a cake, you guys. This cake is pretty simple if you take out all of the very complex parts. <laughs> I do like how this turned out, so let's get started. To create this cake, I'm starting with an egg-shaped cake. I know a lot of you can't find this because it was discontinued, I'm sorry. But you can definitely just use a round cake of any size. The more people you have to feed, the bigger your cake. Now I cut this into three equal layers and just started to add some icing in between each layer. I didn't completely cover the second layer with icing because I knew I was going to cut off the top. And this is why a round cake would work so well. I was scared that if I created all the prongs with cake, they would morph and they wouldn't hold their shape because they're really thin. So I decided to make each prong with a triangle of white fondant. I covered my entire cake with a crumb coat of buttercream. And then using some more white fondant, I created a little bit of the top of the handle of Forky. If you want to see more of my Toy Story content, I've got a lot of stuff for you. Got a Miss Potato Head, I got a Buzz Lightyear, and a Bo Peep doll cake. All of these creations will help you throw an awesome Toy Story party. So make sure you check out all my videos. On top of that, went a giant piece of white fondant to create the base of my Forky the spork. I tucked the fondant into the bottom with some fondant tools and this is where I think I messed up just a little bit. The prongs aren't as big as they should be. I think it's because the fondant is so thick. Go figure, it's me you guys. And so that's why I lost a lot of like the length. But it still looks pretty bomb. After that I started to add detail to create Forky's face. He's dirty. I got a little bit of like uneven like cheek detail and I'm just using some luster dust and edible glitter to create the glitter glue that holds his eyes down. To be very honest, I didn't like Forky when I saw the first trailer. I uh, Pixar, come on, you could animate anything to look like it's living and real and you chose a spork? What you? I don't know what you're doing, but it's not right. But after I saw the movie and I met Forky, I understood completely. When you're a child, your imagination is limitless. And it's so easy for kids to take nothing and then turn it into something. It's like all of those kids who play with the boxes and not the toys that they get for Christmas. Because they understand that that box is not just a box. It can be a castle, it can be a spaceship. You wanna go on the Millennium Falcon? Hold up, let me go to Home Depot and get you a box. You want to explore the bat cave? All right, let me go to get you another box from Home Depot. Hold up. You want a third box to pretend that you're on an airplane? Well, two boxes is enough, okay? Because we're in a two bedroom apartment and we don't have space for three boxes. Why aren't you satisfied with what you already have? This is why I don't even want kids. You always want more. You can't have more. Okay, I'm working two jobs. And I'm a single parent who's just trying to make it work with boxes. Just give me a break, all right? <laughs> Eat your craft macaroni and cheese and just give me a break. Now this part is totally extra. You don't have to do it. You can just do Forky's head and everybody will be fine. But I decided to do some extra because if I am anything, I am extra. Did you not just hear my rant about kids? <sighs> Never, but also maybe one day. And voila, my Forky cake was complete. I may not have liked him in the beginning, but I love him now. I even just bought one of those Build-A-Forkies on Amazon. Congratulations, Disney. You got me to spend $10 on a spork. Now I'm curious, Toy Story has been out for like two weeks, maybe even more. When are you watching this? September 21st, 2023? Really? Wow, can't believe it. What did you think of it? What did you like? What didn't you like? I'll tell you one thing I didn't like. Gabby Gabby and the way she handled that whole woody voice box thing. That's not how you go about it, girl. You do not use muscle to get what you want, no matter how sad your story is, all right? I'm, I'm sorry, that made me really mad. I hope you guys found this entertaining. I love you, I will see you very soon. Peace!